Hey, welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the quick look at the next version of Windows 10 for the year 2020. This is the build 18.8.9.8 for 20H1. 20H1, a lot of people asking what the H means. It means half. So 20H1, first half of 2020. So of course, we are testing what is the future of Windows and um, we still have no information about 19H2 but there's kind of a little something that I did read and uh, also heard yesterday. So um, first of all let's just talk about this build. We'll talk about 19H2 when I, once I'm over the quick rundown here. So in this build the install was very long. Once again some of you are saying pretty fast and normal install. Others are saying really long like you so it is really hardware related depending on what you're using as hardware it's longer for some uh, than others also once the install phase that is extremely long goes through I've got no problems no glitches the um, Windows 10 operating system is working great I've got no blue screen green screens nothing it's really really working perfectly for me so this is at least you know it, it is working well and it's cool for that. So what's new in here for those that want to know? Well, there's only one new feature. In the uh, ta task manager, one of the things that you could see was uh, the hard drive, of course, drive disk zero, and on the left side panel. Now it will tell you the type of drive it is. If it's a uh, regular hard drive like I have, it says HDD, hard disk drive. But if you have a a solid state drive then it will say that it's an SSD or solid state drive so you now know if the PC has an SSD or an HD it, it could be interesting because it could actually be useful to know this if you're especially for tech guys you know when you go to a computer you don't really know what's the hardware in there uh, by having a quick uh, glimpse you know, you know glimpse at, at that information could be useful I guess but anyways, it's still useful to know that, you know, you've got that. And for regular folks, it's also interesting because over the years, I've seen so many people get, you know, kind of um, having people like, you know, sell them things that weren't really exactly what they were. And uh, they have the thing they have, uh, you know, a solid state drive. And then they no, they you just have a regular hard drive. So, uh, you know, it's OK. I mean, minor detail, but it's there. And apart from that, well, it's running fine on my PC. I've got no issues, no problems at all. Uh, and that's pretty much the only thing. Remember, there are some known issues and problems in here. So you might have some issues. Uh, that's not impossible. And of course, like I was ranting a little earlier, having an image of every build would be very, very nice, Microsoft. Hope you're listening to this because that would be great. Um... 19H2, we'll talk a little bit because there's nothing else to talk about this build, really. Uh, 19H2 is going to be, of course, the next version of Windows. It's going to arrive before this. This is 20H1. We are really a year ahead right now. And uh, 19H2, we know is going to happen. Uh, some people still speculating, oh, well, they'll jump over it. No, we know it's going to happen. But it's interesting to see that we haven't been testing it yet. Um, there's been a hint that 19H2, the first builds, might arrive in June. And it has to do with several little things happening internally at Microsoft. Um, so what apparently would happen is that, first of all, we will have the May 2019 update somewhere at the end of May. So that we know. At the end of May, we'll have the version 1903. May 2019 update will be there. After that, a couple of weeks will go by, and 19H2 builds will start actually rolling in. We still think, and because it's an unanswered question, but we still think that slurring will be used to test. Slurring and release preview will be testing 19H2. And that tells you that that is going to be a very minor update. Very minor update. Also, there's an interesting difference between the big feature update 
the first one of the year and the one that ap happens at the end of the year. So main 2019 update will have that regular 18 months of life. But for business users, what could be interesting in the next version of Windows, which will be 19H2, is that that version is going to have for business users 30 months of life. And that 30 months means that they probably don't want to push too many new features, the minimum features, just a few little tweaks here and there, so that the enterprise version or the businesses don't go nuts over you know updating to a new system because there will be too many new features. And at the same time, there's going to be that 30 months of usage available. And pretty much from now on, we think that's going to be the future of the Windows updates. First update of the year will be the big one. The second update of the year will be a small one. And it's going to pretty much continue like that for the future. So kind of interesting changes. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's obvious that Microsoft is kind of trying to find a way to uh, push us into different directions in Windows 10 and, and try to please a little more the people around it. So that's pretty much what we know, and that's pretty much what's happening with uh, this build, 18.8.9.8, released yesterday, May 15th, 2019. Enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.